Hey cooks, look what I have out today. I have the debaye mandolin, and we're gonna use this to thinly slice some onions for one of my favorite side dishes, onion strings. They are a little bit different than an onion ring because they're really thin slice, and they're great to use on a burger. You can use them on a salad, or you can eat them straight up with a little bit of my favorite honey mustard dipping sauce. My name is Amy and I'm on a mission to become a better cook. Hit the subscribe button below to join me. So now let's make my favorite onion strings. Okay, so I have three really big onions and I'm just gonna cut both ends off of these so our onions are ready to go into the mandolin. And I'm going to obviously take off the onion skins. I'm gonna have to cut this a little bit because I can't get these things off. I'm going to take off the first layer just because I don't know if this onion ended up on supermarket floor. I don't want that, right? <clears throat> Woo! Woo, doggy, right? These onions are defending themselves very strongly. Wow. Whew. So let me clean up all this onion scraps. Okay, so we have the mandolin set up. I'm just doing a straight slice on this. This has got a wavy cutter and a straight edge. So we're just putting our straight edge. You don't need a mandolin to do this. Um, you could just do it with a knife. You just need to get it thin, and that's one reason I'm using a mandolin. Um, you could do it in a food processor if you have smaller onions. The thing is, my onions are pretty big, so I would have to cut them moon style, half moon style. So you want to do one little, one or two little test uh, slices just to get the thickness that you want. So we're going to go ahead and slice, slice. And I'm doing them like this. You can do them thinner or thicker. I'm doing them pretty thin. I don't want to have this too thin because I'm just going to end up with like mush, right? <laughs> Woo! Sweet. Yeah, I'm getting too much onion down here. So here's our onion, and we're gonna go ahead and break these up into this bowl here, into rings. Woohoo, right? And um, yeah, this is like really fresh onion because these things, they're not playing around here. Whew. They're gonna be delicious. Gonna have a little bit more kind of oniony flavor just because we're using fresh and not frozen. like one of my first times using this mandolin and I would rate it okay right
do. <laughs> I would say this, you know, this mandolin could be better. Well, it's just the leg keeps moving on. It. Yeah. Ooh. My eyes. My eyes. I mean, it's doing a pretty good job, though. It's okay. It's not like the smoothest thing in the world. No, but it's doing. It's not jamming so bad that it looks like garbage. I think there's better mandolins out there. Well, this was on sale, so. Yeah. It, so, therefore, it's a good one. <laughs> I have an OXO if I can find the parts to it. Boo. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Ugh. That's rock and roll. This thing. So. I think I give the debaye a C. A C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it worked. Whew. You, you didn't cut your fingers off. I didn't cut my fingers off. I can say that. It got the job done. It got the job done. So. Oh my gosh. So we want to soak our onions in some buttermilk. I'm allergic to milk. So I made my own buttermilk by using almond milk and vinegar. So you basically put one tablespoon in and then fill it up to a cup of um, almond milk. So I'm going to use four cups on each one of these bags. I made two bags of these. This is my second one of the onions. So we're going to open this up and we're going to pour in our buttermilk. Mm -hmm. mm. We're going to seal it up, get the air out. These onions are strong. Make sure that's totally sealed. We're going to go ahead and give us a little massage. And we're going to let it sit for like a half hour. Um, you may not need to use that much if you're using real buttermilk because it's thicker. And it will uh, stick better to the onions. The almond milk is thin, so it doesn't really stick. So I'm going to have to um, rotate this a few times just to keep these things uh, in our buttermilk. So we'll be back in about a half hour. Okay, so what I have here is I have a sheet pan with parchment paper and a rack to catch our finished onion rings. I have a spider Ooh. for scooping. We have a Dutch oven with oil. It is getting hot, so we need to get cooking. I have four cups of flour, and you can season this however you would like. I'm gonna season this with some barbecue rub because we are watching a game today and we are going to eat these with a little barbecue. So just match whatever you're serving it with. So if you're going to serve it with some chicken, maybe just use a little garlic powder, uh, salt and pepper. If you're going to eat this on a salad, you know, maybe go with a little lighter spices. Eric's going to be eating this with some beef. So we want a little bit of bold flavor. That's why I'm going with the barbecue rub. So we have our onions. I'm going to move this over closer. And woo! So we got our onions here. We're going to get them into our flour. Mm-hmm. Wow, they're strong. And we're going to go ahead and coat these babies thoroughly. Hmm. How's that look, though? I don't know. 
get closer. <laughs> wow. So here's our onions all seasoned up and we are ready to rock and roll. I only have a couple inches of oil. You don't want too much because it's going to go kaboom. Wow. <laughs> Woo. That looks so good. We got some onion strings, guys. Woo! Wow. Those look really good. Mm -hmm. Just want to cook them till they're golden brown. These need a little bit longer. Wow, we got onion strings. Woo! Mm -hmm. They look really good. Come here, my pretty. <laughs> Not talking about you, but I'm talking about the onion rings. Uh-huh. What do you think? <laughs> you know what I think. <laughs> Open sesame. <laughs> you want to get that pan a little closer, boo boo? Woohoo! Whoa, guys, look at that. Ah. Awesome! We got onion strings. Uh -huh. Woohoo! Go ahead and get another batch going. Woo! Yeah. Just keep going. Keep your onion strings moving a little bit. Keep your breading going. So this is a process you, you definitely don't want to, you know, lose your attention to because they cook pretty fast and this moves fast and you don't want like hi uh eric professional tip here for a moment we excuse you from watching youtube uh amy learns to cook channel while you're cooking these okay we don't <laughs> want you to burn them oh my uh, gosh upon eating them go back into it oh anyway. my gosh bill ah. taste what's my dipping sauce Oh, no, no. Wow. Those are good. They're really good. Cutting them thin really gives you like that light flavor to them. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. I have to taste it again. Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> they are delicious. I'm so busy eating them, I'm not cooking. Wow. <laughs> wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I just put some foil on there to keep them nice and warm while we're cooking. Wow. So I'm going to continue to cook these up and um, we'll plate it with a little bit of my honey mustard sauce for a final taste test. Okay, so the onion strings are all cooked up and they look fabulous. We've been keeping them warm in the oven. Um, we have a huge platter of onion strings. Woohoo! Yum. Wow. I don't want to be too greedy. <laughs> and I have a little bit of my honey mustard dipping sauce. Mmm. They're nice and crunchy. Wow. They're fabulous. You know, I can see myself being at a sports bar or something and ordering an appetizer of onion strings. Um, you know, 
they'll charge you $6.95, $7.95, and um, you don't get that much. Here, a couple of onions and some flour and a little barbecue rub, and you have a whole platter full. Mm -hmm. mm. They're delicious. You can change the spice up however you like. Use barbecue rub. Put a little cayenne in there if you want a little heat on them. And you can use all kinds of dipping sauces. You can use ranch. Blue you can blue cheese. You can just use ketchup. Look at that. <laughs> Very delicious. So, cooks, we made homemade onion strings. These are sort of like onion rings, but they're thin, crispy, and um, they're delicious. Mm -hmm. If you make these, they will disappear like that, right? If you like this video, please subscribe below, leave me a comment and a like, and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. You can also catch me on social media at Facebook. My Facebook group is facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook. You can catch me on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. And you can also find me on Instagram at Cooking with Amy. Jaws is here. Now you see it. Mm. Crunchy, flavorful, tasty. Yum, yum. And we made them ourselves. Yeah. He's going to eat this whole plate. Ah, ah, ah. Yum, yum. Not sure what that was. Me, Tarzan, you, Jane. Sure. I didn't know Jane could cook, but you can. And I just want to keep them solid rings. That's why I'm using this like this. So we're going to put our onion on here. And you want to do a, a, just one or two little tests. Whoa! <laughs> That's going on the bloopers. Oh, 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 oh,